Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I wanna show you how to add global variables to your Jinja templates in Flask. So this is very simple to do, and you can add either variables or functions if you want, and I'll show you how to do both. So what I have here is a very simple Flask app, along with a very simple template. And basically what I want to do is I want to pass values to this template without me having to pass it directly. So this is the normal way of passing values to a template. I would do something here like something equals value and then I'd have access to something inside of the template. But if I want to pass something to all of my templates, then what I would use is the context processor. So this is going to be on the app object or your blueprint object if you're using blueprints and then context underscore processor. Then you have to define a function so I'll just call this context processor again. And this function is going to return a dictionary. So in the simplest case, I can return a dictionary and the key will be a key and the value would be just the word value. So if I reference the key like this, I will be able to see the word value when I refresh this and I see it there. So pretty simple stuff, how value just appears there. Like I said, it works very similarly to how you pass values to a dictionary in the first place. So if I had key here and value, it'd be the same thing. Of course, it will overwrite it, but that's the general idea. If you want to pass a function along, you can do that as well. So if I define a function, let's just say, um, return Anthony. So this function is not gonna do anything special. It's just going to return the word Anthony. And the reason why I'm doing this is just to show you how it works. So if I create a key here called uh, return Anthony and pass it the function return Anthony, I can then use this inside the template. So I'll put this under that key. So return Anthony, and since it's a function, I need to use the parentheses. And then when I run this, I see Anthony here. So it's returning the value of Anthony. If I don't use the parentheses in the function, what happens is I get the text for the function, like the memory address, and that's not what I want. I want the actual value from the function so I can use this. So with functions, this is pretty similar to filters in Jinja. So if you are not using filters for whatever reason, or you want to use functions like you do in Python, you can just pass the functions to the context processor. But just note that the function that you decorate with this app.context processor just needs to return a dictionary and then anything in that dictionary will be available in all of your templates and you don't have to pass it directly to each template. So this is useful if you have some function that you wanna use across many templates or if you have some global variables that uh, may be useful in your templates. Something like a cross-site request forgery token would work or um, maybe the name of something that just goes across all of your templates, it can be whatever you want. But this is a way to save on code when it comes to reusing the same values over and over in your templates. So that's all I wanted to cover today. Uh, before I go, I just wanna remind you that you can go to prettyprinted.com and get courses on Flask. So I have, I believe, four courses on Flask, Intro to Flask, Flask SQL Alchemy Basics, Flask for Beginners, and the Flask Extensions course. So if you're interested, check those out at prettyprinted.com. There's also gonna be a link in the description below. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about this, uh, using context processors in Flask, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time.